It's scary because uh, I was actually thinking about dipping my toes in the water and uh, like now I definitely won't be doing that. I'll enjoy the view. Some swimmers having second thoughts about getting into the water after a 74 year old man dies from septic shock. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. Bobby Raymond was a well-known horse trainer at Tampa Bay Downs. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski joins us now live from the track with an update about his unexpected death. Chip. And good evening to you both. People who knew Bobby Raymond say he was larger than life. He seemed like he was in very good health. That was until they learned on Sunday morning he died of septic shock. And then he went and do the put a smile on your face. Clarence Brown and Bobby Raymond met through business and quickly became friends. He tells Eight on Your Side he just saw him last Thursday. He seemed okay. We were there, you know what I'm saying, talking, hanging out, talking noise, you know, having a shot of honey whiskey, which which he loved, you know, and um, you know. I saw he had a little bit of swelling in his legs. According to a news release from the Tampa Bay Downs, Bobby and his wife went waiting at Mobley Beach Park in Oldsmar on Wednesday. He had an open sore that was infected by bacteria in the bay. His condition quickly worsened, and on Sunday morning, doctors pronounced him dead. There are bacteria that live in the water. Um, Vibrio is one of them. and. These bacteria can be very serious. Dr. Megan Martin is an emergency pediatric physician at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital and is also a sepsis survivor. She tells us there are warning signs. They will say, I just don't feel good. You can have a high heart rate or a low blood pressure. Most of them will have either a fever or a very low body temperature. Um, they can feel short of breath. They can look pale, sweaty, clammy. And while these waters may seem inviting, depending on your condition, you may want to think twice about getting in. By all appearances, Raymond was healthy prior to his dip in the bay. He will be great on this for lots of people. Diane Fister still can't believe Bobby is gone. The stories of Bobby Raymond are endless, to be honest with you. There's just, there's just so many, you know, to tell. Um, he was just a wonderful person. And another piece of advice, if you do elect to go in the water and you do have an open wound, as soon as you get out, wash that sore off with soapy water. And if you do experience any symptoms, go see a doctor right away. This Jen. is so scary, Chip. Do we know how common septic shock is? Well, that ER doctor that I spoke with told me it's more common than you might think. She sees these cases on a regular basis, and she says the earlier you get treated, the better the situation will be. She says 270,000 people die from septic shock every year. My goodness. Chip Osowski reporting live in Hillsborough County for us tonight. Thank you.